Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for February 10th. February 10th. So, let's get started. <laughs> First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, February 10th in 1763, the Treaty of Paris was signed by Great Britain, France, and Spain to end the Seven Years' War. According to the terms of the Treaty of Paris, Great Britain got Canada from France and Florida from Spain. Spain got New Orleans and Western Louisiana. But Great Britain was basically left in control of North America. That is, until the Revolution. In 1783, a peace treaty was signed that formally ended the Revolutionary War. Do you know what the name of the peace treaty was? The Second Treaty of Paris. On this day in history in 1897, a well-known newspaper, the New York Times, put the slogan, all the news that's fit to print, on page one. A few months earlier, the paper had a contest offering readers a $100 prize if they could come up with a better slogan in 10 words or less than all the news that fit to print. And no one did, and no one has. More than 100 years later, it's become one of the most famous slogans of all times, but not many people know how and when it got its start. So I have an idea. Ask your parents tonight if they know. Make a deal. If they can answer correctly, you'll do the dishes after dinner. But if they don't answer correctly, they'll give you all the dessert that's fit to eat. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word unicorn. A unicorn is a mystical animal, which is usually shown as a horse-like creature with a golden horn on its forehead. Some stories describe unicorns as animals which have the body of a horse, the legs of a deer, the tail of a lion, and a horn on the forehead. The word unicorn combines the Latin words for one, uni, and horn, cornu. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what city has the most skyscrapers in the world? The answer is New York City. There are over 160 skyscrapers in New York City. The tallest one of these is the Empire State Building, which is 1,250 feet tall, which is 381 meters. Amazingly, the second, third, and fourth cities with the most skyscrapers are also in the United States. They are Chicago, Houston, and Los Angeles. Health tips. <laughs> Oatmeal is a great food. Oatmeal provides lots of energy, so breakfast is a good time to eat oatmeal since it provides you with plenty of power to get through the day. Oatmeal also contains lots of vitamins and minerals, and studies show it can be very good for the health of your heart. You know, I sometimes eat oatmeal with lunch or even dinner. I are you working on a project to keep the Earth healthy? Maybe you're taking care of your local stream or starting a recycling program at your school. One great way to let people know what you're doing is to make posters about your project and put them up around the school. Your posters should be colorful and they should include information about your project and why you feel it's important to take care of the Earth. Who knows? Maybe someone will see your poster and ask if they can help out too. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>